Hi everyone, uh, I'm Andre, and in this stream we're gonna play around with um, mechanical joints and maybe with uh, physics constraints. So let's see just quickly. So I've done this one really simple. So we've got let's just block this one here. I'm just gonna redo redo this, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, let me just block this one. So here. Well, let's just disable simulate physics for this one. So if we blow again right now, as you can see, we've got this joint, and the second object can rotate in a plane and that's it and it does stop after a while so we're gonna recreate this uh, and uh, other types of joints let's see so I'm thinking I was thinking we could do some stuff from here so we've got so we've got these types of joints the linear orthogonal which is actually linear and something is perpendicular rotational which is this one that we that I've shown you here and uh, this one which is another plane and revolving also rotational and we've got the more complex one which is this one and the uh, ball and socket joint which should be a simple one so yeah we'll see what we can do okay so let's go ahead I think we'll redo this one so for this one it's very simple so if we just look very quickly so we've got like this an object and we've got a rotating joint here and the second object so this is one this is two the second object can rotate like this in this plane and it's locked on the other rotation uh, axis okay so let's go ahead and we'll just leave this one here and let's create another actor like this so say a hinge joint two like this okay so uh, let's we'll use cylinders I think wait no let's use uh, cubes just a second I'll minimize this right here okay so let's go ahead and add two cubes we'll call them cube one and cube two two this one and we'll scale them scale them down like this and like this okay So the other one I think we'll scale it the same way now we'll just drag this one and here like that I think it's good to leave this one bigger so we know which one it is so the first one is smaller second one it's bigger so uh, we just freeze this one so we won't simulate physics this one will simulate physics like that and let's just add the physics constraint like this so we'll say uh, which one was that so we'll say rotational joint let's say hinge joint well let's just We'll leave it like that. Uh, 
So let's say here the component, I'll put cube one and one actually, and cube two. And so let's drag this one at the intersection here. So this is where they will rotate around. And if we select the rotational joint here, the linear limits will leave locked and the angular limits will just lock everything and will unlock the rotation around the Y axis. So I think it's this one. So you can see the disc indicates the rotation uh, plane. And we also have to disable the collision between the two. So just check this. Okay. So I think we can try it already like this. Let's go ahead and drag this in the scene and let's just play. So if I grab this one and let go, as you can see, it rotates like the other one and it doesn't, I cannot pull this in the, this direction or the other. So, but as you can see, it will rotate almost indefinitely. That's because we haven't added some friction here. So let's add that. So if we go into the joint here, we'll take We'll go into the angular motor right here. We'll select twist and swing. And because here we've got the swing motion, we'll check swing here also. And if we look at the, the axis, let's get this lower like that. So the axis is around the Y axis, this one. So we'll, so it's this one. So the target velocity will leave at zero because when we're, we want it to stop and we'll put a force here. So I think we'll leave it, let's put, let's exaggerate it. Let's put it to 10. And now if we try it out like this, as you can see, it stops really quickly. So if we get, if we want a more realistic result, let's put this to one. Okay, so if we try it out again, sorry about that. Uh, where was that? I think here, okay. So if we try again now, grab this one, okay. So we've got the rotation how we want it. Okay, let's just get rid of this. So with this really simple and just five minutes we've just created a simple joint like this one that I've shown here as the rotational joint. Now let's just list this one like here and let's create the ball joint. Okay so let's see the ball joint is this one so the ball joint from what I can see it actually can rotate in every direction and it can even twist. So let's just, uh, I think we'll duplicate this one. So we, it should be easier. So just duplicate this one and we'll rename it. We'll put, let's say, uh, joint, uh, ball joint. So it's ball and socket joint. I'm actually not, I don't know too much about the mechanics and stuff, but I don't, well, actually I do know some stuff, but I don't know the name is exactly, but yeah. Okay. So got this one. So the second object it can actually rotate in every which direction. So let's just go to the, so we'll take this one ball joint like this. So here, let's, let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead here. So we actually will, uh, 
leave it rotate in in every direction the linear mids is still locked okay and we'll leave this twist and swing so we'll add this the rotation uh, the friction for every axis okay okay so so of course this one is the other one I'll put it here so we'll drag in the ball joint so let's see I think we can see this here with if we attack it with another object yeah like this yeah that's really fun to do okay so you can see it rotates and even twists around its own axis so we basically really quickly we've got this one done down down but the only thing we could do is actually limit the rotation as you can see here this socket will actually limit the rotation not the twist but the swing so how can we do that so let's go here and into the physics constraint so uh, that one we do from here we'll put limited okay so the rotation around the z-axis which is this one we won't limit but the others we will so let's see I can't remember which one was that let's put this locked okay so this one is the rotation around the z-axis so this one will be free and the other ones we'll put the limited okay so let's see we got 45 degrees I think that's okay and let's see it's a soft constraint no Oh, sorry about that actually we'll put we'll leave a, a hard constraint uh, hard constraint because if you look here this one is usually made of metal so it should be a hard constraint so it should stop that right okay so I think that's it wait swing twist this one also okay so let's test it out now so if I drag here if I drag this more than 45 well, let's take an object that's easier okay hmm it's kind of buggy That's weird. Hmm. Might be the fact that I'm streaming. Uh, that's weird. Wait, let's test this one. This one is okay. I can I on the right click I can actually poke it. So let's do this with the other one. Yeah, it jumps around. That's wait. Let's try again. Yeah, that's weird. That's probably because of this situation right here, which is kind of weird. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if why it's like this. It's weird. Mm. Twist this one. Okay, so if we free it like this, that's weird. I think I, I've tried this one and it worked. Not sure why. It does like that. Why it's so target velocity? Okay. Hmm. That's weird. So we've got swing two limit this one at forty five. So let's put this to locked. Okay, so this is yeah. So this is normally what. Uh, yes, I think we have to rotate this. So we have to add an angular rotation offset because as you can see here well not actually 
actually no so this is yeah this is weird the weird behavior of the physics constraint because usually the physics constraint will let you rotate so the uh, actually the reference positions are the position that the objects are in right now so the 45 degree is like this okay so it's not like this as it shows here but Let's see. Let's test it like this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is actually doing what I want it to do. But when I let it rotate in the other direction, it doesn't want to. It actually does want to, but it's weird. So let's see. Actually, let me drag this. Okay. I'll put this here. I'll just take it from here. Come on. Doesn't quite react, huh? Okay. So it actually does what I want it to do, but not not this one. So it does rotate like this and like this, but doesn't rotate like that. So I think, but if we leave this one that's weird. I thought it would be easy. This one should have been easy. Why doesn't it work? I know why. Because it changes the reference frame of the object. That's why. But then how do we do this? How do we implement this? That's weird. Uh, well not sure we, how we do how we can do this then hmm I think we'll leave this one for now yeah I think we'll leave this one for now okay so we'll come back to it maybe have to do some research yeah that's weird okay so let's see okay so we have other ones so linear joint let this this should be easy actually it's like a piston and uh, it just slides okay so i think we can take this one maybe no let's just just do another so linear joint okay so let's do a new blueprint linear joint <coughs> okay Just let me check this everything is fine okay just a second I'll check if everything is okay I think so yeah yeah, should be okay. Okay, so I was saying, so let's we'll create this linear joint, okay, which should be actually really easy. So let's go ahead. We'll take a cube, very simple cube one, like this, and cube two. Oh, sorry about that cube, actually, like that. Well, not the child cube like this and put this to cube 2 okay so we'll scale them we'll actually scale them the other way around like this and like this and this one 0 0.3 so it differs a bit like that okay so let's pull this one to the right okay very nice now let's add the physics constraint so we'll say joint linear okay so we'll put this here just so that it's a reference point and of course we can we can drag this here if we want but let's just let's just start from here right 
So joint linear. So we'll put the components right here. Cube one, cube two, right? So you can see they're connected because they're colored. Okay, so rotational limits uh, will, uh, the angular limits will lock everything and we'll play with these. So actually, this one is really simple. We're just moving on the x axis, so we'll just free the motion on the x axis. So the cube 2 will simulate physics and the joint will actually disable the collision between the two objects okay so let's drag this into the scene okay let's just rotate it a bit yeah okay so now if we take this object and we push this one nothing happens it's because it's the other one of course <laughs> Yeah, so that's quite fun. So as you can see, it moves in a straight line in relation to this one. Okay. Now, if we wanted to make something fun, we'll just take this one and we'll make it simulate physics. Okay. So let's put, let's take this cube and drop it onto the cube. So uh, well actually it should fall by itself, but let's do this. Okay, so if you play now, uh, we can take this one, as you can see, right. Yeah, so it's kind of weird because it's not limited, but it's, it's quite fun. Yeah, so let's limit it. Okay, so as you can see here, we've actually done this one, but of course it's limited, as you can see. So let's add the limits. So we'll go to the constraints here and we'll put this to limited. And there's actually a limit that is shown. So let's go ahead. So the limit goes to the left and to the right of that point. Unfortunately, there's no offset for this. So it just goes from the left minus to the right plus. So we just, yeah, so let's put, let's put 50 centimeters like that. I think it should, yeah, so it shows here and here, as you can see. And if I save, wait, let's put this to minus, let's see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't accept it, okay. So we save this and if we try again now, what you see is that we take this one, yeah, <laughs> so as you can see, that's fun. When you, it just stays on that axis and moves around, yeah. And if we take an object like this one and push the other one, like this, pushes it into the other object. So already you can find some stuff to do with this. Now, I don't really want to get into the springs and stuff. Maybe we'll get into afterwards, but we can add a spring here. So it's even more fun. But uh, so let's say, but yeah, that's, that's not quite a joint, but let's say we want to do a piston that with spring. And actually, instead of doing this, so we'll just limit it to zero and we'll put it to self constraint. And the stiffness, let's put a hundred and a hundred here. Uh, well, damping, actually, no. We'll put this to 10, let's say. Okay. So if we try again now, it should be. Uh, that's too stiff. Okay, so let's try 10, let's say. Should should ask act like something that you can jump on and bounce around. So let's see. Yeah, too stiff. Okay, let's see. So put, let's put this to one. Let's try again. Well. 
doesn't quite work. Not sure why. That's weird. Uh, well, limited, soft constraint. Uh, that's weird. Okay, I'll do it another way. So let's put this to free, and then we'll use a ang or linear motor to, to to make it come back. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So let's see here. So it's on the x-axis, which is this one. I'll put a strength of 10, let's say, and then a damping. I'll put it some damping also. Let's try again now. Now it should work. Okay, so that, yeah. Yeah, so it's two. I'll put this to 100. So it's stiffer. Yeah, so this it's becoming really fun to play with, as you can see. Yeah, so this is if you want to do some kind of piston with a spring, that's how you do it. It's really simple. Okay, so let's undo this. Oh, wait, undo this, and we'll put what what is before. So we'll put this to limited, uh, wait, wasn't this one. So we'll put this to limited and let's say maybe 30 centimeters. So it's less, okay, yeah. And if we go ahead and take cube one and or disable simulate physics, now we'll get the normal stuff. Uh, if we pull this, uh, let's use this object. So if you push this, as you can see, it slides, no problem. Okay, so so this one actually very simple. We done it. Okay, so this one it's the same thing. It's only that the other object well, we can actually do this one so orthogonal joint not sure why it's but let's duplicate this one i'll duplicate like this a orthogonal joint just a second I'll check something here Sorry, just a second. I'm checking something. Okay. Okay, so if I wait. I'll check something here. I'll disable this so it doesn't take. I thought it the stream was going slower. Not sure about that, but I think it's okay. Okay, so let's go back to what we were doing. Okay, so let's make that one. Which one was that? This is one. So we'll actually just add something. So orthogonal joint. Let's drop it in here. Rotate it a bit. 90 degrees like that. And it, you know, we'll just 
take this, we'll take it to the middle right here, like this, and we'll scale it down. Let's say four. Okay, and just I mean, you don't actually need anything to make it work like an orthogonal joint, but just we'll just add a cube. So it is. Uh, so we have a visual cube, right? Oh, wait, this one was here. So we add a child to this one like that and we'll scale it let's just take it here and scale it like this doesn't really matter okay so now if we scale this one a bit more also uh, which one was that yeah, okay. That's weird. Orthogonal joint. Yeah, we actually, yeah, we changed the linear joint. Okay, that's funny. So, doesn't matter. So now if I drag this one, oh wait. So I think it collides with the other one. Let me see. I think so. It did. I think it collides with the other one. Okay, so let's put it like this. Let's see again now. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay. So it's this one that moves, not the other one. Okay, so let's actually disable simulate physics on this one and we'll simulate physics on this one. So because the, uh, this one is a child, we just leave it like this. We should move. Yeah, as you can see. So when I'm grabbing, I'm actually grabbing the parent. But yeah, you can make one mesh from this, so it's really easy. But when I'm pushing it, I can push the other one also. So let's see. Yeah. So this is exactly what you see here this one okay so I think we'll change the names uh, like this one and we'll put this to orthogonal Okay, doesn't want it doesn't matter. Okay. So now let's see wait wait wait. Uh I'll take this one. Okay. So we've got quite some stuff. Let's see what we can do next. So let me check this. I'll actually I actually close this so it doesn't consume resources. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and see another. So the rotational point, we have this one. We can do this one right here. So we can just duplicate this one. Let's see. Hinge, well, well, twisting joint. Okay, very simple. So, twisting joint. Well, just, we'll just duplicate this one. A twisting joint, like that. So for this one, the, the second object only rotates around the z-axis. So we'll take this one and 
will so everything has to be locked and we'll just unlock the rotation around the z-axis this one okay and that should be it and let's just and uh, we have we have some friction here so that's good well, actually yeah swing swing is this one also so this should work but just let's just add some another cube to this one and we just so we can manipulate it better so like this let's just scale it down so this will use just pull from this object okay so let's drag this in like that and if we try now let's as you can see it rotates and we cannot pull it in another direction doesn't want to it just tries to rotate yeah so it works so we actually prevented that one also okay this one is just almost identical you just change the mesh so it doesn't i'm not even going to try to implement this one because it's just the same thing we just change the mesh you just pull this mesh to the right and that's it okay now there is one joint which is difficult I think it's difficult, although might not be. Wait, so this one we did. Well, we can actually have some fun and put multiple joints and see what happens. Okay, but I think we have this one. Yeah, we did almost everything except this one, which is um, can't remember the name exactly, but actually it's used in a car, so we you transfer the rotation uh, so we can um, let the wheel move up and down but just rotate at the same time so and normally this in mechanical stuff you have a ring here this ring that is actually uh, different it's uh, how to say it's a distinct part from the other uh the the arms but we can actually i think we can implement it without it being a separate part so let's let's try that okay so i think we can try with this which one this one right well let's just make another one so what was the name sorry about that the name of this joint I can't remember U joint probably U joint wait I'll just yeah universal joint that's what the one. that's the one yeah exactly okay so let's see how I can do this blueprint new blueprint and we'll say uh, universal joint like that so same thing just cubes cube one here and cube two and a constraint okay uh, and actually I think we're gonna need two of them yeah no we're probably gonna need the second object also yeah maybe but we're certainly gonna need two constraints okay so let's see uh 
well in the u joint it has actually um, two rotational joints so we'll put this uh, wait let's scale this down okay so like that right like that so we'll put like this wait on the x so we'll put 0 0.5 on the x-axis same here like that okay so let's first let's uh, just simulate physics on the second object well this is the first but doesn't matter okay so we'll put here cube one and cube two and we'll put this the physics constraint in the middle now let's see how we can uh, that's actually right so this one here yeah and we'll actually leave this free like that because wait yeah wait wait so we'll leave it rotating like this I think we need the third object yeah uh, but I don't know if it will work with the third object hmm that's a good question right let's try like this because we're gonna need two physics constraints so duplicate this one so you joint one and you joint two like this okay so one is gonna rotate like this and the other one is gonna rotate not like this like this wait so this one like that and the other one okay and we have to limit the other one so wait 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 free so this one should be limited okay and we got this one and this one should be free uh, well see what happens I don't think it will work but hey wait where is that I haven't added yet so so wait this is good doesn't let me rotate it okay so that's because we actually need the rotation like this yeah that's what we need so maybe we can do this on only one right, that's because it's locked here let's leave it to free like that so wait wait so we need this free I think it's like this I don't know So yeah, but it, no, it's not. That's not good. Because when one object rotates, the other one has to rotate also. So wait, how can we do this? So this should be locked, actually, and this should be free, maybe. Wait, can we do this, maybe? I think it might work now so wait what we'll do is 
this cube will actually anchor it so we'll add a physics constraint that will keep it in place so uh, say anchor like that so we'll put it here and then let's say this one cube 2 so for the cube first component of this anchor will be none and that means it will uh, be anchored to the the actor and a second one will put this one cube 2 and now cube 2 we can actually simulate physics with it so but now let's see so this one will actually want it to rotate in this plane and that's it so let's see so that's it that's exactly what we want and let's see if it rotates when we rotate this one okay okay so apparently it works so I think it works uh, yeah that's it but so wait did we ah yeah of course so yeah the thing is we haven't they actually stay like this because we haven't disabled the collision so that which is actually like in real life because it limits them but usually you shouldn't do this you should limit them with the physics constraints uh, so let's see this yeah let's just get this farther away so if we if we do this yeah it works I don't know how to rotate this one so but I think it I think it does what it should yeah this is yeah it does what it should this is exactly what it should do. Yeah. So apparently should work. Oh wait. I don't want to do that. Oh wait. Okay. So we'll take both of them. And move them here. And just something like this so the thing is okay so let's see what we've done here well this one doesn't do anything right because it's free everything is free so we can just yeah so one a single joint works apparently wait we'll try it out again yeah Yeah, that's exactly how it should work. I think. But it doesn't. Wait, so if we rotate it like this, it works. If we rotate it the other way around, it still works. That's not good wait so like that and like that yeah that's good that's good so we got this motion right here and the twist if we twist then it the other one twists also so yeah it should work yeah exactly so let's look again at what we've done so we've got so the swing is actually so we can swing like that in uh, around the z-axis like that and you can also swing like that around the y-axis so yeah this is apparently much easier than uh, the mechanical stuff because that's that's really complicated and 
now there is one thing at the car so if we rotate this one in whatever position it may be it should rotate the other one but we haven't actually tested it uh, thoroughly so actually let's try something else let's try rotating this one yeah so it does work wait disable the collision between the two because that's how it should be and then if you want you can uh, uh, limit from here so we go no wait uh, wait 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 it should be limited here like that so as you can see there is a cone in which the rotation is limited so yeah let's leave it like that so let's put disable soft constraint because it should be mechanical so if you pull this right here See, it works exactly like in a car. Let's see. Look. That's cool. Okay. That's really cool. Of course, we should add here some friction. So let's see. Some fris friction. We've got the swing. Swing. And it's rotation around the X. And... Wait. Uh, and uh, which one? the X and well we just leave it like that let's see again yeah that's really cool so what this does what what it's useful for it's actually um, translating the rotation from one plane to another plane but apparently um, I've looked into the mechanical stuff and well that's a good question because the mechanical stuff if you look here because this is a ring and it's uh, because of the mechanical properties and the math rotation between two and actually the rotation that you have here it does not translate in the directly into the rotation that you have here. If you have a constant speed here, it will turn turn into a sinus uh, sine wave, uh, which mean means that the rotation here will be slower or um, or um, uh, faster but I'm not sure if this will work here that's a good question uh, yeah I'm not sure about that I think this is the rotation directly because there is no mechanical stuff it just yeah so with this you can actually if you have a motor or something you can drive something here so it rotates vertically instead of and wait if we let this go to 90 degrees what will happen it might get buggy but let's see so i put here 90 like that let's try again <laughs> that's so beautiful that's cool so actually no it's not buggy at all of course if you add some uh, wobble to this it will start to to behave weirdly probably right uh, that's so cool so if we actually we can what we can do is is have this one uh, 
yeah no actually we can't i wanted to to have this one fixed at 90 degrees but not sure how to do that because the problem is that if we rotate this vertically that it won't have the same rotation uh, yeah i don't know how to do that but but it's already works like it should like this one right here so that's cool well uh, let's see is there someone yeah, not, not really okay so can we look into some other stuff sorry yeah okay so let's look here so let's look if there's some other stuff i think yeah it's this one that we implemented joint here and what you can actually do is you can actually connect these two together so you have two if you have two actors like this anyone you can you can actually connect these two but let's see let's see what we can do here uh we have to simulate physics and let go of the anchor actually we'll put none here save and if we do this it will actually floor the, the go of course they will fall to the floor but yeah no what we can do actually let's see uh we can chain them but let's just do this when one actor so we get rid of the other actor so here we'll just add a third cube yeah so this should be fun okay so we'll add here the cube oh wait so we'll duplicate it like this and we'll put it to the left that's cool and we'll duplicate this one and put it here and then instead of cube one or cube two we could put cube one and which one let's call this cube three three like that okay and this one will put cube one and cube three <coughs> and now let's reactivate the anchor put here cube one <coughs> no cube two okay so if we save now if we rotate this one it should rotate the other one <coughs> let's see well that's weird that's because we've linked it to cube one should be linked to cube three uh cube two so second joint this one new joint let's put this one here and you joint two so we'll put two connected to three that's good that's how it should be so if you try again now let's see if we rotate this one now it's hard to make that rotate but as you can see yeah now that's cool so if we rotate this one yeah it should rotate the third one that's cool so as you can imagine you can do really fun stuff with this yeah ah yeah we can do this wait 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 so if i 
push this here. Wait, that's not good. Yeah, this works also. Yeah. Yes. So, I think I can call this one finished for now. I will be doing some tutorial on tutorials on this. I just wanted to try them out and uh, you know, I thought you guys might like uh, this stream and uh, uh, let's just look around a bit so these as you can see are okay the only thing that didn't work was the ball joint which is weird let's see this one a bit why didn't it work okay so we got here so what it should do is rotate like that and like that and actually rotate also on the other axis well hmm. that's weird why doesn't it work okay so we've got this one right here the other one let's see so we've got this one wait why do we have this uh okay so let's put this to wait so we want so we want it to rotate like that and like that so it's around the y-axis i think it was this one uh yeah and the x-axis this one okay that's good so you can rotate like this and like this okay and the other way around no so if you let me make this okay let's see again how it behaves so got this is the ball joint let's pull it here okay we'll pull it here so we can play with it like this so it rotates like that and it actually rotates in every direction except the z-axis so how can it move wait so yeah it doesn't work hmm. how can we make it rotate because if we put this to free uh, let's put this to limited wait it actually works ah yeah so the problem begins when this rotation passes the uh, 360 because this works so I think it will not be a problem so if we put sweet let's put this to a hundred and seventy nine so that means almost 360 but not quite so let's try this again yeah so it blocks okay so the problem is then when we put this to free it actually doesn't work because we've got this stuff with the cones that's weird let's try again now yeah that's because when it rotates to 360 it loses its something like its um, reference point or something that's weird uh, so how can we do this uh, maybe 
if we put this to soft but it shouldn't make a difference but let's see weird because we've seen here so let's see we've got what was this the hinge points wait so we've got this here working I got this one this one the rotational okay and we've got these fun things so it's weird that this one, uh, wait, so it's weird that these work and the other one don't, this one doesn't, uh, wait, how did we make it here, uh, yeah, problem is this doesn't rotate and the plane, and when it rotates it moves the other one, yeah, so here it shouldn't because what we want so what we want is this rotation also so we got this one and this one and we want this one also but apparently when it this one rotates and passes 360 degrees it changes the reference point somehow so here wait where was that yeah so i don't fully understand these cones I mean I know that uh, I know that they uh, show the freedom of movement but I can't really uh, this one is free so the rotation around the z-axis is free and these ones are limited but yeah yeah I think I'll have to check this out on my own because it doesn't really does I really don't understand it uh, so if this is limited limited yeah that's weird ah yeah wait wait let's really put f uh, let's put 30 so we can see it better 30 everywhere wait 30 like this okay uh, so yeah the thing is I think we have to rotate it somehow because the thing is that uh, this should be swing and swing ah yeah I think I know how we can do it because uh, the swing and the swing one swing two should actually be swinging and this one should be twisting so let's see so we put this one to free but of course so we should change their position yeah I think that's how we can do it yeah let's see okay so yeah I think that's how we can do it okay let's scale this down so what we'll do is actually we'll put this on this axis okay so I'll put take the joint also uh, just like this and then I'll actually scale it like the other one yeah I think it should work like that maybe wait so put this like here and here like that and scale this more okay 
So let's put this on the z axis where it should be. So we we'll put this zero, zero, wait, zero. Like that, and a hundred minus. Okay. And this zero, zero, okay, zero. Maybe like that. So now, so I think this should work because it lets it rotate like this and then swing. Yeah, this should work. That, this actually, that this actually makes sense. And I just discovered this. I didn't know there was, I mean, I, I did know there was a difference between the swing motions that we see here and twist, but apparently there it's very important. Yeah, so now, yeah, okay, so we're getting getting somewhere. So let's rotate this vertically. So we'll cross our fingers now that we have the red one. This one should be above and this one below. So now, so I think, yes. So it works. That's how it should work. Yeah. So we've got a ball joint, which is this one right here, which is now limited to 30 degrees. So let's put this to 45. Because that's more natural. Okay, so learn something today about this. It's good exploring. So yeah, what do you see here? The cone going upwards doesn't really matter. Uh, you can take, well, it does matter for the reference point of these, but you can actually take and rotate this. It won't change a thing. So we can rotate it and put it like this. And it won't change much. will behave the same way. So that's cool. That's cool. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. I've managed to explore these and I will be making a tutorial with this. Probably all of them in the same tutorial because uh, they're really easy to make so yeah so let's try them again all of them so we got this one oh wait wait uh, so let's limit this one because that's not normal we should be limited somehow let's see so this go here we'll limit to 45 I think yeah so it should be limited 45 let's try again yeah cool this is everywhere which way and that's cool this is sliding okay uh, this one is sliding also can't remember why it was different. Yeah, doesn't matter. Same thing, this rotate like this. And this beauty. That's really fun. Okay. So I think we can call it a day here. I actually managed to get this working. That's awesome. Um, there are other joints, I think, but should be really easy to make them. If you want to make a mechanical uh, arm or stuff like that, we should be able to use bones and then use physics and strains and maybe I'll do that also in the tutorial. We'll see. 
and yeah someone asked me to make this it's a hexapod or something like that i'll look into that next time we'll see because uh, here you have to use also um, i think springs yeah <coughs> i'm not sure how you control it but it's interesting nonetheless yeah so i've seen this i think yeah this one here i don't know this saddle joints i think these are just implementation they differ by implementation in the mechanical uh sense because what we do here should be the same thing so i mean doesn't make a difference yeah so if you implement this this ah, this should be interesting implementing this to rotate and slide at the same time that should be interesting uh, we can do that let's try that so I think yeah we can try to take this one orthogonal okay so the orthogonal and we'll duplicate it and we'll call this uh, rotate slide joint I don't know how to call it I have no idea because it doesn't actually exist it's just something that I thought about so we'll let this rotate and slide at the same time so well see like here so we don't care about this one we just care about the cube one so here we'll say okay I have this one that will limit the movement and uh, the rotation will leave to free let's see uh, but it won't work with a single joint uh, with a single physics constraint so we have to use two so let's see uh, let's put this to free so actually oh wait uh, will it work wait so we have this one so it moves left and right and then we want it to rotate around the, the x-axis so let's see we'll lock everything and it's not this one which one is it i can't remember okay so around the x-axis but this shouldn't work right or maybe no it doesn't why doesn't it work? It doesn't rotate. That's weird. That is weird. So we should let it rotate, right? Wait, so this one, let's move this one like right here. Okay. But, but but it doesn't rotate right why okay let's leave this to free and see what happens ah yeah of course i am changing something else so actually what this one i have to change we have to put this one here because it's rotating slide we were actually looking at the orthogonal stuff okay uh, let's rotate it to 90 degrees so if you play then you get some stuff like this of course yeah okay so it should be easy right so let's put this to rotate like that okay so it rotates as you can see and we can slide it left and right that's cool yeah so if we want it we could also limit it uh, let's see let's see we can limit it 
two, 45, so put like this, 45. Let's see. So it's, it rotates like this. Yeah, that's cool. So actually the actually the reference point from for the start for the rotation around it's actually the start point of the simulation of these two so if we wanted to rotate here we can do two things either use this angular rotation offset to offset uh, where the twist limit comes in or we can actually rotate the objects so let's try this let's try this so uh, the rotation is around the x-axis so we'll put uh, let's say minus 45 I think let's see yeah so it's should be plus 45 right like that so now we've got this right rotating here so uh let's say 90 yeah so this is how i want it so you can rotate Wait, that's not good. So it's 45. No, wait. What? So it rotates from here to here. That's good. That's exactly how it should be. And then we can also push it. Like that. So it slides and rotates. That's really cool. That's really nice. Of course we can put this one because there are two meshes but if you have one single mesh you can actually pull something pull from here and just so it, it's a bit fun we can go to the linear limits here and activate soft constraint and put this stiffness to 100 let's say damping just one and it should bounce around so that's fun yeah, that's really fun so yeah we've made that one actually i've imagined so it was this one right here rotating and sliding but yeah so I think yeah so now that we have learned this we can actually do all sorts of stuff so we can make this one so we, it's just a mechanism and two ball joints very simple to do so yeah I think we'll call this a day. I think we've done some cool stuff. And it's. I think it's enough for now. Yeah. So I will be making a tutorial on this. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, and if you like this and you want to see streams like this uh, don't forget to follow and uh, well I'll see you in the next stream bye bye